Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome video! Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome GOAT format replay. This time we're showing you guys a new tech in GOAT format here that might be potential. I got a little bit of proof on why it might actually work. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sick, guys. So we're playing uh, John Doe 32. He's ranked pretty high. He's ranked uh, 1129 there at the time of this duel. And uh, we are playing our Gravekeeper decks with Gravekeeper Watcher, of course. And uh, so we got a little bit of extra tech in there as well. But we're going to show you guys some pretty sick tech here that we uh, we're thinking of trying out for different decks. Now it depends on the deck, but we're going to get into it here first of all. So we're going to start off the game here. I'm going first. Always good set, always good start for almost any deck. And uh, we draw like shit. Great. So I'm just going to set Cyber Jar and pass, all right? Absolutely horrible. It's going to get rid of that. I'm hoping that, you know, if he has a whole bunch of monsters off Cyber Jar, I can do that, whatever. But it doesn't work. So what are you going to do? So, anyways, we're going to then resolve the Cyber Jar, get our five cards, blah, blah, blah. All right. So he's going to bring that into attack position because he's seen I have a knock there. All right. Knock already went into my hand, right? So he think, you know, a bit of a mistake there. As you'll see, but you know, I understand what he's going for. You know, I get, I get what he's doing. All right, Cyber Jar is going to resolve. He's going to knock my spy, no problem. He's got a spy, it takes me an eternity to find my friggin' other spies, and then I finally get her one year later. So he's going to roll some dice. Thank God. You know what? Hit my charity. He didn't hit my BLS. So I'm like, you know what? That sucks, but I can get rid of a light for my BLS. So it's not the end of the world. All right. So then we're just like, all right, he's going to set some cards. I'm like, okay, so. So I can summon BLS. So we're just going to try this. He's got no response, as you can tell. So I'm just going to banish the light in the dark. And then all I need is one monster and a GG. Because, yeah, BLS is just broken. Great card. <laughs> and then, I don't know if it's game two or game three. You're going to see the, uh, the the tech we're trying to talk about here, guys. But let, let's find out now. Game two, we signed some different cards, whatever you'll see. So we got first tech here. We got our Great Keeper's Watcher. Card's pretty sick. He's going to do his usual chaos stuff. And discard the Thunder Dragons, right? It's going to set a card and set a ring destruction, right? So I'm just going to set a card of bluff because I have literally fuck all. It's going to do that. All right, cool, whatever. And take some damage. No problemo. Thank you very much. It's got two mostly bluffs, so. And here, I, I'm going for a hard read here. I'm like, yeah, he's got a Chaos Monster in hand, right? He's, he's got a Chaos Monster in hand, right? So I'm like, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go all in. We're gonna set that bad boy, aggro that, and activate my royal tribute. Ah, oh, yeah. And what do you have? Fucking thunder dragons. Fuck me. Well, that sucks. What are you gonna do? And then we're gonna eat. And then we're gonna eat the pain from the necro valley, which sucks. Banish that. Oh yeah. Since the serpent started this game. Oh yeah. All right. Take some damage. Whatever. Draw a secret barrel. And this is where the text coming in, guys. You'll see. It's pretty, pretty sick. All right. So we're gonna set our spy. I'm going to set my ring, and I don't want to set my secret barrel. I, I, I was like, I'm probably going to lose this game, but I don't really want to give away I'm on playing. He gets rid of that, so I'm like, okay, cool. Right, so that's why I didn't set the secret barrel. We don't want to show him what we were playing. So it does go into game three here. So game three, he's going to think what he signed in there. Thank God I put, set the secret barrel. He would have seen that. So this is where the tech's going to come in, guys. It's kind of sick. So we're going to draw a card. We're going to start off with our charity. We have to get rid of Spy, because I got my Right of Spirit. So it's like, you know what? Not the end of the world. MST, I got the Giant True Nave. I want to get damage in. No biggie. All right. So we, I'm going to set my Barrel, and we're going to set that guy. I set Barrels as Chainable in any moment. I guess Right of Spirit is too, but it doesn't punish you in any way, right? So I, I figured if you waste something on it, then it will just go through guaranteed. All right. So then he's going to Zumbara. I'm going to bounce it back to hand, thanks to my spy, uh, Keeper, Guard, whatever his name is. And yeah. Then we're going to just break her, try and get rid of the thing. Okay, nope, maybe not. No biggie. Take some damage. That's fine by me. The more damage, the better, right? So we'll set another card. This one's a chainable. Then we're going to mind come. Okay, didn't get it. But this, this is where it's going to get crazy. Ready? So we're going to write a spirit, first of all. Bring out our spy. And then we're going to pot of greed, make sure that's all right. Yep, okay, cool. Then we're going to think. Activate that. He's going to wing blast that. Okay, let's activate another one. Fuck yeah. And then, uh, so we're just going to hit in 17-17, and it's going to get pretty nasty here, ready? Well, not nasty, but you'll see what I mean. So, 
He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Fourteen hundred damage on my secret barrel. If I can clear that, but I knew I figured it was a spy because uh, the deck he's playing, he more than likely would set a spy because he doesn't want to take damage. And he doesn't have any sets, as you can tell from his hand, right? So I'm like, all right, we'll just play it slow then. Okay, so he's gonna set another one, a night assailant. Okay, set another one, just the bluff. Okay, cool. I'll, just, I'll set my lady for later when we can start hitting in. Maybe is what I'm thinking. He's gonna knock it. What are you gonna do? And thankfully, I kept my watcher in hand. Clear the effect. Oh yeah, how do you like them apples? So uh, there you are. Watcher coming in clutch, guys. That actually came in super clutch too. It's crazy. And then we're gonna terraforming. Give her the other necro valley. I have to check my graveyard. I don't remember that. I had them all three, all three of them, right? So he's gonna keep on setting, which is great for my secret, but it just keeps on loading her up, right? So we're gonna set my spy. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's got that's two thousand off my thing. And then I see this, and I'm like, oh, oh shit. He's gonna attack into my fucking reflect bounder. He's 100% going to do that, right? So he attacks him before the to clear the effect. All right, he knows. Cool. He's going to take 1,700. All right? Because when, when a monster has lower attack from it, you basically just become 1,700 because of the damage calculator difference. And I'm like, you got more than you got nine cards or whatever? GG. Get fucked. So that's the tech I was trying to show you there, guys, is that you have a deck that has a lot of high defense position monsters or maybe... Maybe you can deal damage quickly, but then you can't. You just can't finish the game for whatever reason. That's why the secret barrel and the reflect bounder in there for is the reflect bounder can just sit there like an idiot. And because he didn't use the night assailant on it, he thought it was a good. And he thought it was because night assailant doesn't work on um, what do you call it? But now here's the thing I don't understand: why didn't he thunder dragon instead of using night assailant? He should have used night assailant to pop that, then thunder dragon to get his light or dark into the graveyard, whatever he was looking for. But anyways. So since he did that and attacked into my um, Reflect Bounder, we got 1,700 free damage on, which just enabled my Secret Barrel, and he had no response because you can't chain anything from hand to Secret Barrel in this format, for example, right? So like he could, like if he could decide to grieve, I waited until next turn, for example, but he didn't do that. And yeah, it was pretty sick. So I wonder if it's a tech that you can use going forward in certain decks. Like I thought about it in this deck, you saw in the deck profile, where I use the, uh, where I put three Secret Barrel on the side there. Because I figure you'll be stalling a good amount with your spies, because they can be kind of annoying sometimes. And uh, and I, that's why I also put Reflect down there, and just feel my VLS. And it ended up working out in this game, which was pretty sick. So I don't know if it's good. If it's a, I think it's a good tech idea myself. If you guys think it is, give it a try. It's pretty sick. It's worth the try. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool how it works out there, right? Because uh, it's something your opponent won't expect, is that you would decide in a secret barrel and a deck like Great Keepers, for example. It's not a common thing to do. But I figure it might be a good thing to do for... Or games like this, or if like your opponent's playing light point heavy, the secret barrel, I think it might be a good tech option. Maybe at three, maybe at one. I think at three for certain decks like this one, it's pretty sick. So that's just what I think, though, guys. What let me know what you think in the comments down below, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you liked it, like the video, and uh, yeah, check out some more awesome Go Format videos coming every single Wednesday. And uh, we do have some, and we're thinking of doing some videos on other than Go Format. If you are interested, let me know in the comments. But other than that, guys, that's the video. Thanks for checking it out. I'm peacing out now. I'll see you guys in the next video.